Now, we are deeply involved in the treatment of patients who have tumors that either have arisen in their liver or have spread to their liver from another source. And this would be one that arises in your liver is known as hepatocellular carcinoma. Now, arterial therapies are really pretty interesting. Chemoembolization is one of the most common things that we do. If the liver is different than almost every other organ in the body in that it has two blood supplies. It's supplied both by the hepatic artery and it's supplied by the portal vein, the draining your intestines. As I said, that that's the way that intestinal tumors spread. They drain through these big veins into your liver. Now, here's the trick. And nobody could have predicted this would be true. If you get a tumor in your liver, 95% of its blood supply is derived from the hepatic artery. Whereas your normal liver tissue gets 75% of its normal blood supply from the portal venous system. So, if you put something into the arteries going into the liver, you selectively kill tumor without damaging significantly the underlying liver tissue. And that's what makes the liver sort of uniquely situated for types of therapies which we can provide. The um, other good thing about it is if you put chemotherapy in through an arterial catheter and put a material to block up that artery, it just sits there in the tumor. Rather than having to take a, a shot in your vein and figuring you're going to make yourself all so sick and you're going to make the tumor a little sicker, you're putting all of the chemotherapy right into the tumor itself and very little escapes into your body so you can avoid the side effects of the chemotherapeutic agent, yet you can get a much higher dose to the tumor itself and lead to the tumor's death. And this is just a, a sort of diagrammatic example of what we're talking about here. Here's the liver, here's the portal vein where most of the normal liver gets its blood supply, here's the hepatic artery coming off the aorta through a branch cleverly named the hepatic artery. And here is the tumor getting most of its blood supply from that hepatic artery itself. And as we put junk in, you can see we can fill the cancer's tumor up with this agent. You get a high concentration, it can't function, and it dies.